Nagak is NOG, AKI, also a resident of Fanning Springs. Um, I attended the, the meeting that was held uh, in Bell, Bell High School, and there must have been 50 representatives from Sable Trail at that meeting. Not one of them could point out on that map, which is kind of a Google Earth map, where Route 129 is, where Route 47 is. They could not identify any of the crossroads. When I'd say, like, oh, where, you know, where is the school of relation to here? Nobody had a clue. Nobody was from this area. And even when I look at that map that they presented tonight, there are no identifiable highways or roadways to let people know exactly where this path is going. And the answer was, well, you know, it, it could be changing. So, you know, this is a projected, you know, trail. We don't really know that this will be the one could move either way. And there were segments presented, you know, blow-ups of close-ups of the map. And I could still not identify any particular, um, you know, road where Bell was, where Trenton was in relation on this map. Uh, I am very concerned that in trying to protect people, which is really paramount when you have a gas pipeline under pressure, that instead, it's going to go through Wakasasa Flats, which is the recharge area for our water supply. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the karst environment, very, uh, very delicate. Um, if there's a, a leak of gas or natural gas, <coughs> um, it either goes up into the air or into the groundwater, which is our drinking water. So um, I, I really can't see any happy ending for this pipeline. And I think that you know we should exact every impact that we can uh, to get something for Gilchrist County out of this because it's all to our detriment. There's no benefit from this pipeline to Gilchrist County, none whatsoever. Instead, it puts the county residents and the environment at risk. Thank you.